The Giant's Grove was, uh, was an idea, a concept of the Crown, Trees for Ireland, that great organisation of which the President is patron, sole patron. And it was their idea looking for a site and we are delighted that they found a site and we've been able to offer a site big enough, the eight hectares here, in what is already one of Ireland's top gardens, attracting already 80,000, 90,000 visitors a year and having already served as an area for the reintroduction of memorial oak trees under another tree organisation, the Tree Council of Ireland. We have the space and I'm passionately keen on trees and native trees. I adore uh, restoring the full range of the native trees that we had here, have here, and just love the idea. We're lucky enough to have the space. And the example that we look at here of one of the coastal redwoods planted either by, towards the end of the term of my great-grandfather, the fourth earl, or my grandfather, the fifth earl, just over a hundred years ago, shows how extremely well that tree grows in this area, despite the fact that there is the heavy rainfall here and that much of the area to be planted up will flood seasonally over three or four months of the year. That has actually encouraged the growth of that tree rather than discouraged it. So to those who say that they'd be swamped out, I would point to that great example that these are likely not only to thrive but to grow faster here than possibly anywhere else we could think of. The public hopefully can get involved in many ways, not just coming to see it, and Burr is a garden which is open to the general public already 360 days of the year. It's one of the few great gardens that is already open all through the year. But those who are keen to support the project as a one of our, of our heritage and patrimony um, can support it by taking a plot in it with a tree on it or 500 a tree. Each tree will have a number. We are now trying to make this better known, more widespread and look forward to a, a very positive reaction both here and of course in America because we see this as a project of the diaspora, a new element of the diaspora project, an arboreal diaspora and so will naturally be appealing to all those Irish, those who've left these shores and those with roots and friends in America to support it from there as well. I'm greatly honoured that my 80th birthday should be marked with something considerably more long-term, <laughs> vastly more long-term than the number of few num number of years that I can be expected now to, to live on and can think of nothing that gives me greater pleasure than to be associated with such a long-term pro project as this may hopefully and very successfully be.